Hello and welcome everybody, what is going on? So, we have beaten Dortmund 6-0 in pretty much the most one-sided game we've had of this quote-unquote, I mean, I don't really want to call it a quote-unquote, but let's call it a quote-unquote dead classic cat because, you know, that's what everyone else is calling it. Sounds ridiculous in my opinion, but let's call it that, right? Uh, and we've beaten them 6-0 in pretty much, like I said, the most one-sided game in at least six years, I'd say. Um, and quite frankly, I thought it was a very, very fun game. I thought it was a very, very fun game. Now, I was also a little bit let down, to be totally honest, because I, I was expecting more from this game. I was actually really, really pumped for this game. I was really looking forward to it. I was think I, I thought, you know, this is going to be a spectacle the, the way it usually is. But I was, you know, the first 10 minutes really just said no. Um, now, what I find interesting, actually, is that VAR, for like majority of the season, has been very, very excellent. You know, it's just been flawless in the Bundesliga, VAR. And then, like, you look at it now, and it's just like, it just failed completely in the big game. Now, there was one instance of very good VAR, and one instance of very, very bad VAR. Now, I've not seen any replays. I know it's been, like, two hours since the game finished. I was just a little bit busy. But uh, I've not seen any replays yet of the goal. But, like, the initial replays that it showed within the game for the very first goal showed that Lewandowski was clearly offside. There's uh, the second goal though. We all, I think, most of us thought, oh, that's a that's a perfect goal. There was nothing wrong with that. And then VAR decides, well, there is a touch from Hamas, and you look at the VAR, and it's like, well, yeah, there was a touch from Hamas. So it was just kind of like, all right, we had an instance of very very good and an instance of very very bad. Now maybe they have actually shown another replay for the first goal to show that you know what, maybe he wasn't actually offside. Uh, if that's the case, I am wrong. If that's the case, I'm wrong. I'll take that. But, uh, we, you know, we played the first half, first 10 minutes, 2-0 up. One gets, you know, w w one gets taken away. All right, it's still 1-0 up. Then you go on, um, like, five minutes later, we score another one. It's like, whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> Where did all these goals come from? Like, what is happening in this game? And then it's just, that, it just continues. Like, it just continues and continues. Miller, uh, Hamas, you know, Lewandowski, all just flawless. Um, especially Muller and Hammers, I thought those were really the two standout players today, the two the two big standout players. And it's just they just keep going forward, they just keep going for always through always through the middle. Always through the middle. Then Ribery does a little skill, you know, gets the goal. Lewandowski, I mean Lewandowski gets the goal ultimately. But Ribery just like taking him piss check out completely is like Really? <laughs> like Ribery um, the funny thing is, like, uh, Carlos Rummenigge was like, oh, you know, this month we're going to sit down sometime this month with both Ribery and Robin and discuss potentially extending their contract. So it's kind of it's kind of ironic that, you know, now that we know, okay, the contract, they're going to have a talk at the end of this month or halfway through this month, that suddenly Ribery and Robin are just playing at a different level. So I, I'm not making any judgment, I'm not making any coincidences, but they're clearly playing for a new contract right now, which is what you want to see. So, I mean... You can all you can to, to the thing about today's game really is you could chalk it up to oh we were we were very, just very very good or you could chalk it up to oh Dortmund was just very very bad and I feel like it's a bit it's a bit of both we were very very good Dortmund was very very bad I feel like ultimately no uh, we deserve the credit but we also but Dortmund also should be blamed for you know this poor spectacle and. Um, it just shows that you know they have been struggling for a lot, and while we have still, while we you know are still in the phase of kind of rebuilding, the phase of just kind of finding out who we are, the phase of just you know doing the general thing, we are still excellent. You now we can still be excellent when we want to. We can still be very very good when we want to, and today we really want it to be. So it like just gives me a little bit more hope for like the Champions League. Now, it, does hope is hope a bad thing? No. Um, but we'll see exactly how far this hope will last us, in my personal opinion. But, um, yeah, overall, I thought, like, a very, very good result. We go going final into the halftime. The game was already over at that point. There was nothing they could do. There was nothing we could do, to be totally honest. Like, if, you, if, you're going, if you're going in with a 5-0 lead at halftime, it's just basically, you know, it's game over. You know, they're not going to do a Lewandowski and score five goals in nine minutes because they don't have Lewandowski. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we just continue playing, and then we get, like, a 6 goal, and that's really game over. You know, that's, that's it. 6-0. Um, I usually I'd feel a lot better to be totally honest, but like this one, like I was, I actually felt, I don't know, it just makes, I don't know whether that is just makes me such a kind person or whether that just makes the, whether that just puts like context on like how far they have fallen. But like at 4-0 or 5-0, I was like, eh. 
All right, let's stop. <laughs> let's stop. That needs to. I know Half Hope always says that. For those of you guys need to watch Half Hope right on YouTube. Uh, where he always says there needs to be a mercy rule. And uh, I, you know, well, today I actually agreed with him that there needs to be a mercy rule. There needs to be a rule where like a coach or a manager can just come in and be like, you know what? No more. <laughs> just, <laughs> just no more. Let's stop the game right here. Let's pay all the people that came to watch the game. Let's pay them some money and let's go home. Yeah. I'll do it like you do it the Hamburg way, where you just you know do a massive barbecue. Do it one of those ways, and because I just felt bad for him, like you know it's the biggest game really of the Bundesliga, or it's perceived to be the biggest game. Now some may say, oh Leipzig right now is the biggest game just because of what they're trying, well just because of what they're trying to do and what they represent. That's a fair argument, but I still say that Dortmund, you know, just from prestige really is like the bigger team. Uh, right now, like un until Leipzig actually has a deep run in the Champions League, I feel like everyone will almost always perceive Dortmund as the you know the bigger team, the one that's really challenging us for the title. Again, some may say, "Oh, it's Leipzig." I'm still on Dortmund side, to be totally honest. Um, so yeah, uh, besides that though, besides that, like it's the biggest game of the Bundesliga. Most people are watching, you know, it's the game that attracts the most viewers. It's the game that just attracts the most people to watch. And then you just get absolutely destroyed like that. Just saying, just saying. Anyway, I, I like this result. Now another thing, I'm just gonna add that on top because I won't, I, I'm not gonna make a separate video about just tiny little topics about that. But another thing I'm gonna add is that Romanik is stated. Maybe I will make a separate. You know what? Maybe I will. But Romanik, I'll stay it here anyway. Romanik is stated that Tuchel has already joined another club. We are not getting Tuchel. Uh, that's just the way it is. And ultimately, that the next coach will definitely be speaking German. Uh, and then a few hours after that, there was the, well, Christian Fall pretty much stated that uh, got, uh, that Kovac has actually. Got a release clause just for Bayern. Why would you have that if you wasn't thinking about it? That's what I'm going to leave you with. That's what I'm going to leave you with. 6-0 against Dortmund. Truly the classica. Hey, let's call it that. We should rebrand that. We should rebrand that. So give me a good suggestion of what we should call it from now on. But anyway, though, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys next time. I think next game is actually Champions League against Sevilla on Tuesday, if, if my memory serves me right. So that should be very, very fun, I say. I'll see you guys then, no lane gentlemen. Until then, everyone, peace out and have a nice day.